In this lesson, we'll be looking at the construction of bond Haber cycles of ionic compounds. We'll be looking at two specific examples, sodium chloride and aluminium oxide. Now, there are many definitions involved in the chapter of chemical energetics. So if you want a list of the definition, you can go to the link at the bottom here to download a PDF document. Right, But there are actually two important definitions in bond harbor cycle lattice energy of formation and tuppy change of formation why do i say these are the two important ones because and tuppy change of formation will be starting off the bond harbor cycle and then the ending of the bond harbor cycle will be the lattice energy of formation A recap on the definitions, lattice energy of formation will be enthalpy change to form one mole of pure ionic solid from its constituent gaseous ions. Now, important, they will be gaseous ions. For example, sodium chloride lattice energy will be sodium gaseous ions, chloride gaseous ions. Enthalpy change of formation will be the forming of the compound from these constituent elements sodium solid chlorine gas sodium chloride you should notice by now what they have in similar is the sodium chloride so the key thing if you want to draw a bond haber, bond -Haber cycle of sodium chloride will be to join these two equations or to find ways to join these two equations I'll discuss that in this slide sodium chloride again we have our elements here this is a heat of formation we have our gaseous ions here this is the lattice energy so important guidelines when you do bond Haber cycle will be to change your elements into atoms right for example your solid will change to gases atoms your molecules will be broken into atoms or so and then once you have your atoms you will attempt to add or remove electrons so that you get your ions so elements in general we have our gases ions I'll ignore the C here and then we have to go from elements into atoms atoms into ions and then we end the cycle by forming the ionic solid so the simplest form of bond harbor cycles will look like this right elements atoms atoms ions and then your lattice energy so we will look at sodium chloride in detail Pretend we are given a table of values for some of the enthalpy changes. I'll quickly go through the subscripts. This is heat of formation, sodium chloride. Heat of atomization, sodium atom. First ionization energy of sodium atom. Bond energy of chlorine molecule. Right, energy required to break the bonds of one mole of chlorine atom are uh, chlorine molecules first ionize or first electron affinity of chlorine atom and with these values we will attempt to find the lattice energy of formation for sodium chloride so bond Haber cycle we will start off with heat of formation so we use is elements in their standard states and then we connect it to the ionic solid right, so why does why is there a drop in energy level well the heat of formation is a negative value so it releases 411 kilojoules per mole right, so this is a heat of formation the difference in energy between these two levels is 411 
and then remember the key ideas we have to change all these elements into atoms and then atoms into gas so let's start off with sodium solid sodium solid we will want it to become sodium gas sodium gases atoms the, the change involved is atomization of sodium atoms right, and this level will in, involve increase in 107 kilojoules so sodium atom is set already let's focus on creating chlorine atoms right, this is chlorine molecule we will need to break the bonds we need to break half a mole of it to form one mole of atoms we refer to the table here this is bond energy of chlorine molecule if you break one mole we will actually get two atoms we only need one atom so we break half a mole so the energy involved is half of 244 so this is a key milestone we have our atoms ready next step will be to form them into the ions sodium to form sodium ions we will have to remove an electron from it right so we take away one electron i'll put the electron here for the time being this is the first ionization energy of sodium removing one electron from sodium we need to overcome attraction force so it will be a positive value also plus 494 now our sodium ion is ready we will need to get our chloride ions and how chloride ions are formed will be when chlorine atoms accepts an electron The first ionization, or this is what we call the first electron affinity, right? Accepting of one electron. First electron affinity usually will be exothermic, usually involves release of energy. You can also confirm it by looking at the negative value here. So instead of drawing up, we will draw the level down. Chlorine accepts an electron. Right, so the electron is gone now into the chloride ions now we have our gaseous ions right, this is the second important milestone our gaseous ions are formed and this level will be first electron affinity of chlorine atom our gaseous ions are formed all we have to do is form the ionic solid and if you recall the definition in one of the earlier slides this is the lattice energy of sodium chloride so all these numbers are given in the question except for this we will attempt to form an equation right. one way to do it is you compare the clockwise direction and the anti-clockwise direction So if you visualize the clock okay, and follow the arrow, so these are our clockwise direction. The anti-clockwise is only made out of this value, minus 411. So the equation form actually will be the sum of the clockwise values equated to the sum of the anti-clockwise values okay, plus 107 122 494 minus 349 and lattice energy all on one side and then minus 411 on the other side we have an equation the only unknown now will be your lattice energy okay you should be able to solve it simply it's minus 785 